Hey guys, it's Jeff and today Apple released iOS 12.1 Developer Beta 4. The update came in just under 250 megabytes for my iPhone XS Max. So since we have a smaller update here, I'm not really hoping for too many changes to the UI, maybe just some bug fixes and performance improvements. Nevertheless, let's check out this new beta version and see what's new. This tech review video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X, which is a program that I've been using to keep my Mac running as fast as day one and also free from any malware. Clean My Mac X can improve your computer's speed to run up to four times faster, improve app responsiveness, and clear junk from your hard drive, giving you more space to work with. To learn more and check out the program for yourself, head over to Clean My Mac using the link in the description below. Okay, so first thing is first, I tested out the group FaceTime feature a bit more and not only has Apple significantly improved this feature, I actually think it's ready for a release within iOS 12.1. It's been sort of laggy and really buggy in the past betas, but right now it feels really good and operates as expected. Now moving on to other features and nothing really has changed significantly, but I am noticing some much better performance with the camera and more specifically the portrait feature on the 10s and 10s max. So this basically has a live portrait mode feature, which is great, but in past beta versions, it really hasn't performed the greatest simply because it was taking things in and out of the background when it wouldn't need to. But it seems that the algorithm has been tweaked a little bit and everything is performing a lot better. Now, past those changes to already released features, I'm not really seeing anything new. I would really love to see the ECG feature come to iOS 12.1 and watchOS 5.1, but being this far into the beta process and not really seeing any signs of that feature yet, it may have to come with the iOS 12.2 and watchOS 5.2 updates. More news on that when we know more. Now onto performance and within the control center on my tennis max, I am seeing much better performance operating the controls there and opening up apps directly from the control center. Everything is a lot smoother and actually the lag of the force touch is much improved versus in the other beta versions. I'm really honestly liking the performance in the control center right now. Now, with that being said, the Geekbench scores that we are seeing right now don't exactly reflect that better performance, but that is most likely because we are seeing more stability versus raw performance. So that's a really good thing to see actually, and I hope that we start to see better battery life come as we now have stability. So guys, that is iOS 12.1 beta 4. It's really quite a small update here with very minor improvements, but I think that this version of iOS is really coming together and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I will have a performance update on battery life later on in the week, so stay tuned for that. Anyways guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to get subscribed to stay up to date on our content and hopefully we'll be seeing you in the next video.